Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is increasing order search tree. So in this problem, what we are given is we are given the root of a binary search tree. Again, it's a binary search tree. So I hope you are aware what is a binary search tree. Rearrange the tree in in order so that the leftmost node in the tree is now the root of the tree. So here the leftmost node. See if this is a BST which is given, right? In this the leftmost node this is the leftmost right that is the node which is at the left bottom so one is the leftmost node this one should become the root of the tree and every node has no left child so here see in this tree no node has a left child there is no left child and only one right child so here see one has this two as the right child two has three as the right child similarly till nine so what we need to do right we need to co convert this bst into this tree something like this in which every node has a single right child and no left child and the leftmost node is the root of the tree so i hope you understood the problem now let's see how we can approach it so we will be discussing two approaches for this problem first approach is very simple approach like what we need to do we need to make something like this right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is what you call as a skew tree right skew tree so what we can do simply this is in order right we have to do in order traversal uh, so if you know what is in, in order if you don't know what in order traversal is in order traversal means first left child then root and then right child right child okay so see here left child one then root is two and then obviously there is no right child so then it will be three so basically this entire thing in which the nodes are arranged this is a in order traversal this is a in order traversal okay so now we have to basically make a tree in which we have in order traversal of these nodes I hope you are getting what I am trying to say. Just listen again. So what this is like the first approach. So we need to make a tree in in order, like of the nodes in in order traversal. So if we have in order traversal of these nodes, we can simply create a tree from that, right? So see what we can do in the first approach is uh, what I will do is basically I'll make a I'll store this in order traversal. I'll make I'll have an array array list or uh, list in python array list in java anything vector in c++ so i will have a, a vector and i will be storing the in order traversal in order traversal of this tree so i hope you know how to find out in order traversal so uh, if i write in order traversal of this tree will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and one more thing like this is a bst right so every time just note this fact that in order traversal of a bst is always sorted so if you see here this is sorted array na? so in order traversal of a bst is always sorted so once we got this array right once we got this array what we can simply do is we can make a tree like this this is easy right what we just need to do see what we need to do is we have to just traverse this array or uh, this vector and uh, first of all one node will be there and it has it will have no left left child i'll just make a right child like i'll go to two i'll uh, attach it to the this one's right then i go to three here i will attach it to two's right similarly like this i'll make four five six seven and like this so in this way i will make a tree and i will return one after that so this is one approach okay time complexity see we are doing in order traversal and then we are making this tree so obviously there are n nodes if there are n nodes in the bst so single traversal like for finding this in order traversal we'll be traversing this uh, this bst so it will be o of n plus when we are making this tree so that will be also n so it will be o of n time complexity and space complexity is obviously we are storing this thing in array so it will be o of n okay so this is time complexity and space complexity for the first approach but obviously we can improve it so how we can improve it let's see 
time complexity will be same only for the improved approach but the thing is that space will optimize okay so let's see how we can do that so uh, I'll, I'll provide you hint just think about it what you can do is so see what we need to make is a skew tree right so and for skew tree first node should be this this one should be the first node and then two should come something like this we need to do right and then three should come and then four should come something like this right so obviously first the left child then the uh, root and then the right so what i will do right what i will do what like basically what you can do is first of all we will traverse till this leftmost child we have root right we have root so i will let's say my i have a function a helper i have a function helper just a second helper and it it needs a root okay it should have a root so i will uh, do what uh, first of all i will traverse till the leftmost child that is helper i'll call recursively roots left so i will reach to this one so when i have reached when i have reached one right so here now i will take a dummy node i will make a node you can say dummy node or you anything you can name it so i am taking a node a tree node zero like you can give it any value it's dummy so you can give any negative value or anything so one this zeros right na this zeros right i will connect this one with it that is zero and then here it will be one so zero and here this one node so something like this will be the connection so what i have done i have uh, let me let me name this as current okay so i am naming this zero as current so i am writing current is right is equal to the root whatever root is right now okay root is one so basically my root as i recursively i have traversing the left so root will come here okay this is first step current right is equal to root now we have this thing right uh, initially current was at zero now current because next node where should come next node should come at one's right na that is current should be one so that next node comes in one's right so what i will do now i will update current so current will become thing ordered what current will become current should be one na so what is one one is the root so current will become equal to root root's value will be assigned to current so now current will be here at one and now just think what we should do now we have done this thing now we should go to the right because we have already gone to left now we should go to the right so helper helper roots right sorry guys for the bad hand writing actually this is not working my mouse so yeah helpers roots right okay so these are the steps see these are the steps and what we will be doing is we will be making this whole tree this simple basic steps so if you are getting confused right why we have used a dummy node what's the need of it so see uh it becomes like it makes it easier so that like at the end na something like this will be uh, created 0 1 2 3 4 like that so i can say simply return zeros return zeros right which will be the root of the uh, new tree root zeros right just do one thing if you are not getting still na that why dummy node is used just uh, don't make it and try to implement this approach so you will automatically re uh, require the need like you will require you um, creating a dummy node okay so let's see the code once for it if it will be more clear if you dry run yourself so i'll highly recommend just dry run once so here see this is the code which i have written i i have taken a uh, uh, this here i've created this dummy node i have named it as current you can give it any value it doesn't matter because we are not actually concerned with the value or something so i can you can give it anything right and here i am storing the this zeros 
address because this current will get updated right every time this current will be updated so zeros this thing this root will be lost so first of all i'm storing it in a, another variable answer and at last i'll return the answers right that is one okay and then what i'm doing i'm uh, calling this helper function in which i'm passing root so if root obviously if root is uh, node is null so just return otherwise i make the left call call i'll go to the leftmost child then i obviously see here this step i have missed uh, here now when you are come here you have to this roots right uh, left right so it might happen that this uh, so sometimes two will be the root three will be the root sometimes they uh, obviously they'll have the left child so that we have to remove so left of that just make it null okay because we are not concerned with the left now we are coming from the leftmost child back like this now recursion will go just dial in once if you're not able to understand that so this will be the one, uh, one step then what we were doing we were connecting currents right with the root that is currents right with the node and then we are updating current and then we are going to the right okay so i hope you understood this approach time complexity see again we are going to each node so obviously it will be o of n but the space here will be o of h where h is the height of the tree okay because at the time like at a particular time h nodes will be there in the recursive stack so i hope uh, you got the approach and the code let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it please consider subscribing my channel it highly motivates me and i'll see you in the next video thank you